Oh, you you put a first one. Yeah, good job. How many you did? <clears throat> Wow, Shamini, how do you do that? I copied and pasted the picture and sent it. Oh, I, uh, I need to know how to do that. Oh, you got three of them. Good. Cindy, you're back. Oh, Enter is here too. Enter, uh, you okay? Yes. Do you have the three picture? Yeah. You do. Okay, good. So actually, we're going to do the side view of the ears. Then we also review the side view of the faces. So we're going to review the thing. Right, so the first thing we're going to do the ears. And uh, Cindy, you're back? Cindy, are you back? <laughs> okay, so the first one we're going to do, so we're based on this ears, this one. Oh, what happening? Based on this one. Okay, so we're going to do the, this ears. Okay? All right, so first thing we create is like a kind of oval shape, but not quite, okay, so it's all big. Shape like this, okay, so sort of like this. Everyone's ears slightly different. <clears throat> okay, so shape like a oval, but not complete, like this. Then halfway. Okay, this this will be di diagonal, not the flat. The diagonal. Okay, doing good. Cindy, you're back. Cindy. Cindy Papin is still going to catch something. Okay, so uh Shami D and Enzo, you guys finish this? Yes. You done? You done it? Yeah. Okay, okay, when you draw, remember, don't draw a lot of line. Just a just single loose line. You just feel it. Just feel it, just go like this. Okay, you might have some lines extra, but not too much. The final sound, you got to do a lot of lines. I know sketchy, but not too, too not overdo it. Okay. So this halfway, this uh, this uh Patrick, this this part here can go this this part divide the space here and go like this. Okay, it's this part. Okay, so this this part is divided top coming down. It's going to Okay, so this is the outside. Uh, in Chinese, we say, <coughs> uh, <guo. coughs> okay. My book. Where is my book? Mm 
<clears throat> okay, so so this piece is called uh, tetris. Tragus, okay, this is not tragus. Tragus. Do you guys know this one called? This is called helix. Okay. The inside has a white shaped thing. Inside has a white shape, this thing over here. And from inside coming out, this part here, and coming to here. It's a white shaped stuff. It's white here. Okay, this white shaped stuff. Do you know how they call? They call anti helix. Okay, antihelix is continue to from here. So this part can all the way to continue like this. Okay, so like that. Like white shape. Okay, then between between this helix and the antihelix, the middle, this is the valley part. Called scarfa. Scarfa. <clears throat> okay. Then inside this piece here, called kancha. 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 Okay. Someone coming. Hello, Jake. Hello, Jake. Can you hear me? Jake. Hello. Hello. We are doing the ears. And then we also can review the side view today. So this is called side view, side view ears. We kind of go over with that. So first thing we do is do a kind of oval shape, but not complete the oval shape. The top is more round, the lower ones is smaller, like this. Okay, now after we've done this, we divide half, not the, this way, it's diagonal way, half. Okay, so this half here divide the trackers. It's a little piece uh, from the face coming out for two. Then this part coming out like this. We are going this. Then these pieces, okay, we call helix all the way to here, helix. Then inside the white shape, okay, inside white shape, this one, here, this one, called anti helix. Okay, then each part has a name, okay. So this part still called anti track, anti helix here. Oh, let me see, hold on, hold on. So anti, this is trigus, anti-helix, anti-helix, this one too, right? But here, this one has a little bit bump, bump here. This one called anti-trigus. Little piece here, anti-trigus. Okay. Uh, inside this piece here, this dark spot here, we call concha. Okay. Uh, I think we go to too deep. <laughs> this this part also has a name, but I think you know, forget it too much. You just know this is good. Then this one, as everyone know, this is called lobe. or called lobule, lobule. Low view. So even the most of people call ear lobe. Okay, ear lobe. This one. Low view. Okay, as long as you know this, this is really good. Okay, so understand the structure. 
okay? When we see, from the side we see this, we call side view. The front view will be side different. Okay, front view will be different. So, so next week we might do the front view. Okay. Cindy, are you back? Yeah, I forgot to okay. go You start working on this yet? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Since we are doing the years, kind of simple. Okay, I want you to kind of practice your your uh, line. Okay, I want you to practice your line. So once once you have this whole set, okay, I want you to try to use one line. You cannot be slow. Okay, have to be a bit faster, but not the the speed you cannot control. You have to use your mind to control your hand. So you're going to be here. Make a smooth, make a smooth slide. Make it like this. Able to do that. You shall be able to do that in one line. If you're slow, if you're slow, your line will be horrible. If you're slow, your line will be like this. You still get it, but the line's really tight. You say, well, your line's too tight. You barely get it shape. But you can see the line compared to this one and this one. This kind of line is no good, okay? So be able to make this, get rid of that, eliminate this kind of problem, you need to go a little bit speed. You have to keep in your mind, the eye leads your hand to draw. Okay, you need to be able to kind of go to, go back to clean out the line. Okay, so so far we've been through a couple of different kind of angles, eyes, nose, and I found out you guys lines a uh, problem. So you need to kind of practice with kind of little bit medium speed the line. First time you try, it, you'll be kind of be kind of scary. So only over out of control. But you get used to the speed. Then you find out your lines much is nicer. Okay. This really important thing is the, the line control to make your quality, okay, your, your drawing or your painting quality stand out by your line. Okay. So we go after you've done this one, we're going to do the inside. Okay, same thing you go here. Okay, you go like this. Try to see if you make a nice and smooth slide. Okay, you go here. Okay, ah, oh, only answers, only answers uh, show me. Good. <clears throat> okay, everyone do good. How many you finish your this year too? Yeah. Okay. Since we already done one, right? So we're going to do the uh, nicely done, right? So we can use some of the paper stamp. Once we shade, we shade inside. When we shade, remember we hold the pencil sideways, not the tip doing this. The tip doing this will create a line. So instead for that, we hold side, we rub it. Rubbing, 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 okay? This is here, rubbing, rubbing. Don't worry about the, the letter, I just show you. Scarfa, helix, uh, anti-helix. Just leave there, don't worry, okay? So we work on this one, go like this. Dark space.
Okay. So that way to make things more three dimensional. Okay. So when, once you've done that, you can see the basic structure. Before that, just a line. So really important thing. One thing is when we draw, we use a line to show indication the, the contour. But once we done the line, we next step is try to make the line disappear. Okay? Because the line makes things not, not realistic. Okay? So in able to give you that is we merge to the surrounding. So lines are probably not showing that, that much. Okay, some you can see the line here, right? But some of the line when we draw realistic one, the background contrast to show the line. The lines we see is because we see the object. But when we do that, <clears throat> sometimes it's too much. Okay. Everyone down the ears? Jake, Jake, do you have this picture? Jake, do you have this picture? Uh, this one? Jake, are you there? Yeah. Do you have this picture? Yes. Okay. So, so since already you practice with uh, the ear, <clears throat> We're going to draw the side view of this head, okay? So we will, of course, we'll re repeat this years again. Now we kind of review the thing we have to learn. Side view eye, side view nose, side view mouth, okay? And we're going to squat structure the whole side view head, okay? And also part of the neck, okay? So kind of review what we do before. So, okay, so I take a piece of paper out. So very important is we structure the, the head. Okay, I don't know how much you guys remember. Uh, when we do the head, okay, first thing we do is like this shape. Okay, then half, you create halfway of this extend halfway here. Okay, then remember when we go back, when we go back here, here, this space is a two. And take a one and a half space, so it's one and a half. So this space will be here. That'll be the back. Okay, so right here, important thing is you get a proportion. Yeah, you probably use your eye drawing. Sometimes I have a little leeway, not accurate. Okay. But from reality, the from from the ear part to the back is about take one and a half space. Then from the ears, the base of the ears here to the front, take about two space. Okay, just like that. So understand the basic the structure like this. Okay, so here it's about be three equal space. So here you can see, oh, okay. So, so the chains are a little bit too too short. So you have to extend a little bit more. You can adjust that, okay. So that's a that's a three the head structure base basis structure. So you have not do detail. Not a lot of people start drawing it. That's why I will start working that. That's a really risky because you, you cannot tell where it's after landing it. So based on this one, we can find out where is the indentation, where the nose, where's the mouth. From that, you can find it. Okay. The main, main important thing is that you, you have to face the ears on the right spot. A lot of people draw the ear either too far front or too far back. But in this case, you know, here to here two, here to here, one and a half. Okay, one and a half is the back. From the ear, go to the other back. And from here to the front is two. 
to two space. It's the ratio like that, okay? Then from the years, okay? And from here, you can find that's about 20 degree for this one here is the, the neck, okay? Then that's a critical part, okay? From the year location here, okay? To the front the chin here, this, this area, this part here. So almost half, almost half it is the, the neck connect coming cutting to the space like that, okay? So this part is the major muscle here. Sterum, okay? So basically the neck will be come like this, connect to the chin. So kind of get basic structure like this. Okay, so today I find uh, three uh, side view head, okay? Then two face right, uh, two face left, then one face left. So the one we do is face left, uh, face right, and two face left. Okay, we didn't do the rest of them, okay? Uh, feel free to try that later on, you, you'll have time. Just give you some extra, okay? And the same thing, on top the head, top the head to the chin, halfway, about here, right, halfway. Top, here, here, halfway, is the eye, okay? Then right below, right above, this line here is the indentation here. Okay. Then you know the nose will be end up, the roots will be end up right here, the one third, one third. Right, that's what we do so far. <clears throat> Okay, and coming down, the halfway from the nose to the chin, halfway. That's the bottom of the lower lips. So from here, you're going to here. Okay, then there's a braid underneath the, the lower lips coming out here, then to the chin. Okay, you guys still remember when we do the side view nose, we do the lower section face like this, and this is the wing, that. and this is nostril. So because, because the lighting, so the light coming from the lower going up, so instead the lower catch shadow, this time the top catch shadow.
<clears throat> okay, so so far like that. Okay, then the girl's forehead kind of pretty much can be full, so it's kind of higher like this. Not just totally kind of full back, a little bit protrude like here. But teal back a little bit for the front bone to here and go back. Okay, so the forehead is like this. Then eyes not here, okay? Eyes right here. So this part is eyelash. Okay, and the eyebrows below this side, the first one third, below, really close front, and go all the way up to this one, and then go back. So this one pretty much on the, close to the corner, and going back. Okay, we can see the outside the eyebrow a little bit. Now we cannot see the eyelash. Okay, you guys doing good? Oh, I see I'm just pretty much done. Pretty good. Haven't done the eye though. And the, the eye have to be half the skull to the chin halfway. From here to here halfway. Okay, then this line is we say the two. So go back about, uh, I said this will be half. So about half of one, two thirds. So if you divide two, I can divide to three space here, then take a take a middle one section here. Okay, so the first part here, so there's two parts, right? Take a two. So the first part divide to three. The eye will be in between these two. Okay, watch out the uh, watch out the uh, position. The top, the head, the chin, halfway. Okay, now we're going to place the the ear. That's the major thing we're going to apply what we learn to put on the uh, side view face. Okay, so the ear will be placed somewhere here. Okay, the ear will face somewhere here. So the one we to do the top the line the top of one third. So so we divide the space to three. Right, one. Two, uh, well, let's see. There you go. One, two, three, right? So the re top the ear, re top the ear will touch the one, okay? And going down. 
So we apply the year to here. So this year will be a location somewhere here. Okay. So we go here. Okay, the year we did, the year we did earlier, we're going to apply to right here. Okay, let's so shift like this. Okay, same thing, remember how we do halfway. So this is tragus, the anti-tragus, okay, the helix, here going up, go here, And this is uh, we call it called scarpa. This this part scarpa is like belly part. Then this the uh, anti helix. Okay, so every time when you do the thing uh, for drawing, you get every single individual the ear structure slightly different. Okay. Some, some uh, have uh, minor difference, okay? Some wider, some narrower, some, uh, yeah, this is based on each individual's uh, case. So you can just use some, some way to do everyone, okay? Not everyone the same. Okay, and then how's your year coming? And then you're doing the homework. <laughs> I see you, I see your uh, nail. Ah, you start to the thing that, ooh, pretty. <laughs> hey, you watch out. The, the year placement is supposed to be not on this line, it's right here, right on here. This is the year placement. So this is the, the the jawline go in, the jawline go in here, but not line up to this. It's supposed to be from right here. Okay, watch out. Watch out how you place it. Be important. It's a bit kind of angle like this, not straight. A bit angle like this, tilt. Okay, feel free to use the paper stamp if you have. Okay, you can do some. Uh... It's the lighting, so. This how the shadow.
Okay, remember when we do shadow, we follow the contour. So this is structure of the, this uh, model we did, if you want to add this, we just add the hairline, then pretty much done. Remember, we're going to do the hair um, eventually. Okay. Uh, we probably do one more uh, from you, the ears. Okay. From your ears, then we will start working on the hair. Okay. A lot of time people have trouble with the hair. So we're going to do the hair. How to make your hair like realistic, not be flat, and the easy way to do it. Okay, uh, we're going to do that, uh, I think, in two weeks. Okay, now we're going to place the, the hairline to make the hair coming out. So, hairline is right at the top here, okay, right here. So, going out a little bit, okay, the hair has to be go over the, uh, the skull. Okay, have to be go over the skull. Okay, otherwise you like a print, print the hair on, on the, the skull. Okay, so right here, the hair lines go like this. Okay, then you go back and pull over back to here. Here, some hair kind of thinking sideways like here. Okay, so we find out the hair lines like, we might like here, then here. We must, the line, they don't have a line like this. They, the line they create is we must the, the root of the hair to create. But I just show you where the line will be. Okay, reality is they don't have a line. It's just the root create that, okay? So just pull it back all the way to the tight to here. Okay, because she has a tire to the back. So the hair will go over the, the skull just a little bit. And most of the time it pull back here. But on the top and the bottom here has a little bit extra. So kind of hanging down a little bit, especially here, the back here. Okay, follow the, the ear. So it's kind of like this going down. Hair like this. And some of the hair roots, the roots of the hair will come in. Okay, some like this. And pull on the top, the middle, somewhere here. Okay, this tie a knot right somewhere here. I cannot show everything, but I show this one to tie the knots right here. Okay. From here, so there's some loose hair hanging here and somewhere here. Then even some like a, go back here. Okay, so like I say, I won't emphasize this part by just showing the basic, the contour, get this out. Okay, so kind of go over, be quick, dark system area. Like I said, not emphasize for this. We will do that later on, not, not today though. So kind of dark this area. Okay. And some part here. And the top here. Okay. 
So that pretty much done the Cybeo year and then we review the Cybeo head. Okay. How's everyone do? Okay, so I'm just still work on the top of the face. Okay. Watch out the ear a little bit too long. And the, your ear a bit too long. Check, check mine. Check mine. So so this one, line up to the the root of the nose. And line up to the ear lobe. Okay, ear lobe. Then the top of the ear. Have the ears kind of line up to the top of the eyebrow. So this is like that line up here. Not too long. Okay, you have, have a not go too long. You will be too long. Okay. Okay, Xiaomi, can I see yours? You finish? Yeah. Can I take a look? My nose looks weird. <laughs> I can see to be able to. Can tell you. Okay, let me see. See, tasting. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Do you do the 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 uh the grid like I did the grid? Do you do the grid? Yeah. You did. Can I see the whole picture to see if you place the correct. Do you have a camera to show your stuff? Yeah, give me a second. Okay, take your time. Cindy, do you finish this part? I think so. You think so? Yeah, I don't think it's really tough for you. How about Jake? You finished too? No, I'm working on. Hey, I think your your skills are weak, right? Okay. Oh my goodness, that's a humongous. Tell <laughs> me, you need to you need to place the whole thing in the in in the papers. Otherwise, you your your thing go out the paper. <laughs> your thing go out the paper now. This is a humongous. You don't. Too big. <laughs> okay, look like you have got big ears and everything, everything go out of paper. <laughs> so make sure you did everything here. It's kind of, you can put it in the paper, okay? I think each individual, the, the eye and the nose, the, the ears, I think it's fine. But the only thing, because it's not the placement based on this. So I cannot tell you you do right. Because it looks like uh, a, a too far from, from ear to the eye, based on what I see. Okay, Xiaomi Li. Okay, see, okay. see my the distance. Okay, but yours, the ear is way back here. So uh, way too far. So try to uh, try to adjust, adjust that. But, uh, we still have 10 minutes. We can do one more. Uh, this time, uh, we do different person. And then we try to make, put the whole thing in the one piece of paper. How about that? I mean, you okay? Yeah, look at this one, you already on, on the paper, you, you hardly can do it. So you need to place the, the, the thing like I did before, the grid. The grid, the place that everything's there. Okay. All right. Jake, uh, Jake, yeah. you cannot send me, right? You you can send me, right? You cannot you can show that. You can send me later on. Okay, Cindy, can I see yours? Okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, let's see, let me see. Oh, oh. what? Disappear. Hey, you only show me like a watch, five seconds. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, the front front here is fine. At the back here, because you really close the back the paper, so it kind of kind of flat. Watch out for that. Okay, okay. watch out, watch out, watch out the back here. You kind of push in, kind of flat. Watch out for those. But okay. front you handle pretty good. Okay, no problem with that. And the other thing is, uh, you you need to work on the line. Okay, your line should be kind of, uh, the line that's why I say is tight. Okay, you have to make a line smooth. Make a line like this. Can you make a line like this? Let me see where's mine. See, your line to be crisp. Okay. You got to work on your lines to able to make your line quality show. Okay, how you do that? Loose. Then practice too. You can, you can, you can, if you cannot draw like this first, right? Your first thing you, you, you for, for somebody say, well, I'm not quite sure I can do this. So you sketch out. Say, well, I sketch out like this. So like this and this, right? You got to sketching out, right? So like this and that. I right? suppose, so, so first one, you, you can sketch it. Now, after you've done that, you're going to one line to show it. So how you do that? The highlight part, the light hit part, the lines to be light, the lines to light. So press a little bit. But once it's to the to the lower part, has something is going to press harder. Then here getting lighter part, you get the line don't press really hard. So the lines are not press the same way. Okay. Lighter part is the light hit. So lines to be crisp in the light. But towards some of the angle, lower and the back, is the line will be darker. Okay, so here, try to try to pra practice this kind of line. You create a line, then you go over. Okay, you, you need to make a special tool for female character you guys did. You need to practice this kind of thing. Okay. I don't know how you can master for that because it's an online class. If you're in my class in person, I will, I will hold your hand. Then I will show you how to do the pressure, how to twist my hand, <clears throat> able to get this kind of line. Okay. But but online it's a really tough one. It's I cannot do it because no way to help your hand. I cannot hold you. Cannot hold your hand to do it. You cannot feel it. So in able to do that, I, I can describe for you, and you have to try yourself. Be able to do those. Okay. So it's you have to get a master for that one. The if you can come to classroom, like like uh, Xiaomi Li can come to classroom, I can I can show you how to do it. But uh, you guys from Texas, like Jake and uh, Enter, I just can help you. <laughs> but if you have a chance to come here, I can show you how to do it. Okay, so it's just how you pressure and all about that. So try to do something exercise at home. Do something like a, a thin and thick, make a smooth line. So thin and thick, so this, so here, here, darker, lighter. Make a line smooth. Okay, just try, try this kind of line, okay? Practice make perfect. So just to keep practice. Okay. Not sketch all the time. 
Okay, I know I know you're going to sketch it at some point, but once you finalize, you need to make a line smooth. And sometimes just one time shot, or you can erase it, do that. Okay, so this kind of skill, you need to train yourself. Be able to do that is a practice. You have time to practice, try try yourself. Okay. Uh, we still have like five, uh, four minutes. Ah, I don't know how much I can do. Okay, so I'm going to try to do four minutes to do this one. <laughs> I will draw the structure done. So you feel free to do the structure. Okay, and this year, this one, the year is different than the first one. Okay, so I choose this one. Okay, but I'm going to show you how to do the structure of this, this uh, side view of the model okay so I'm going to do that so I'm going to do this real quick <clears throat> we're going to do that here the hair is a bit concealed like this yes okay <clears throat> so the hair is slightly kind of not straight it's almost straight, but not quite, it's like this. Okay, the head slightly tip forward on the top. I try to get it here. And so this space, this space is a two. Then one and a half, about this much on the back. One and a half, right? One and a half. So 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 if you always say this this is a two, so divide the two. So one and a half will be this space, put the back about here. Okay, I just show you how to do that, right? Then you go the chin, the jawline here, and this is the chin lines go here. Okay, the neck. The neck is pretty much like a almost halfway of the back one third, and a little bit less. Okay, or like that. Okay, I can structure for that one. Then, okay, same thing. So we can divide to three parts. One, two, three. Why we divide three? Because we know where the eye will be and the nose will be. Okay. The nose will be end up here. And the eye will be placed from the top of the head to the chin halfway. It's right here. So we say the first one we divide divide to three equal space, right? So this space, the eye will be halfway, will be right here. But this one, this case, this one, he seems a bit more forward, like this. Okay. In the forehead, this one's a little bit kind of poof, cleaning to the back, I guess. Eyebrows really high, right on top, right here. Okay, the nose end down will be one third, so so divide to three space. So nose will end down will be right, the roots will be end up right here. So go from here, indentation going out. And the nose kind of dropping, not the flat like this, kind of the angle coming down. Then to halfway between the nose root, okay, the root, 
to the chin halfway. It's the lower lips. So this will be a kind of this. And the lips like this. The cheek right here. Okay, so this is the lower section of the face. And this is the wings of the nose. Okay. Then this one, the hair kind of going down a lot, going to the hair do not go here. I believe the ears, same thing, but the uh, ears pretty much hang somewhere this section here. This is a jawline. So the ears face somewhere here. Okay, then line up to the tip of the eyebrow here. You can see the shape of this, like this. So sitting on top of the jaw. So, so this, this one's shaped like this, a bit unique, okay? Then the top of the hair kind of tilt up and drop, okay? The back hair kind of go curving to the back here. Okay, so you can see that. And this all tied up to the one that Choo choo thing, right? So you can have that. Okay, that's how how I do this uh drawing. If I if I do do this one, so you can see how how people do this thing, right? So that so this hair. Okay, so this one we didn't finish, but we do the structure. Okay. Uh, if you have time, okay, if you have time, uh, see if you can finish this one, okay? But if you don't, at least you finish the first one. I know most of you didn't finish yet. Uh, try to practice, make the line smooth, okay? And uh, if you're possible, uh, this week, sometime you can finish this one. Any question you guys have before we leave? Anyone, any questions? Cindy, you're doing okay? Cindy, are you still there? Yeah. Yes? And so you're doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so like I said, if you have time to finish this one. We don't have to finish this one, but we, we've done the first one, okay? So next week, we're going to do a thumb view of the ears. Then after that, we're going to do the hair, okay? We didn't do much about the hair. We just barely cover, okay? So if you have time, practice for this one. See how you do. If you can't do the hair, to show, show me how much you can do with the hair. So when we start working on hair, you know, but, but you can focus on to solve your problem, okay? All right, see you guys. Have a good night. Bye. Good night, Cindy. Good night, Angel. Good night, Xiaomi Li. Bye, Cindy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.